a light in the dark. That's how loved ones of Marcus Park Sr. describe him. Family and friends honored the veteran MTA bus driver that was shot and killed while working this week in Baltimore. WJZ is live tonight. Amy Kawada shows us how classmates and family are remembering his life. Amy. Rachel, Marcus Park Sr. was an all-star student, an athlete, class of 89 at Lake Clifton Eastern High School, which he loved dearly and was adored by so many. And tonight, hundreds of people in the community came together to honor his life. We have come to honor the life of a great man. Blue and yellow shined throughout the evening. Take it for life! As Lake Clifton Eastern High School's class of 89 sported their colors in honor of their dear former classmate, Marcus Park Sr., who was shot and killed Thursday morning at work. Everybody knew my father didn't deserve to go out like this. He was known as a peacemaker who made a positive impact on the future generation of Baltimore. You know, he went the extra mile. When a lot of people don't. 51 year old Marcus Park Sr. was a proud father of three grandfather, uncle, and friend to many. He spent the past 20 years as an MTA bus driver, devoting his time transporting passengers around Baltimore, a community he adored. He loved interacting with the public. That was why he was out on the line with, you know, the passengers. On Thursday morning, police say Parks was shot by a passenger attempting to board his bus in East Baltimore. Just hours later, 24-year-old Cameron Silcott and 27-year-old Nichelle Green were taken into custody and charged with first and second degree murder, along with several weapons charges in connection to the shooting. Now, loved ones are pushing for some change in Baltimore. There's too much violence going on. A light in this world, family and friends say will be missed dearly. And funeral arrangements are currently being organized by Parks' family. Meanwhile, the two suspects are being held without bail. A preliminary hearing is set at the end of this month. Live this evening, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.